Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, check out this truck I'm doing. Um, I got a picture of it. I didn't take a video of the den, you know, when it was when, before I started working on it. But um, all this outer lip right here was out, and the door didn't open at all. So uh, the first thing I done was uh, grab Old Faithful. <laughs> Old Faithful piece of two by four. And, uh, and a sledgehammer and a, a sledgehammer, sledgehammer, um, and uh, I put the two by four here against the corner and knocked it in a little bit. You know that also pulled out this dent some. You know because I when it got hit in these out the outside pulled out and it was sticking out about I don't know you'll you, you'll see on the picture that that I post up. Um, Anyway, I knocked that in first with the 2x4. I was able to stick the corner of the 2x4 in here too and knock this in. And uh, the reason why I did that first, like I mentioned uh, a second ago, the door didn't open. You know, right now it's real tight, but I was able to open it and detrim it, take the panel off, and uh, and I was able to get in through here, you know, with the same 2x4 and the, and the hammer and uh, knock it out a little bit. Now what I'm doing, Doing the old fashioned way, you know, drilling out holes. This video, I'm going to show you guys how to solder up these holes. You know, once I take all these dents out and, uh, and grind it down, and I'll get it all prepped out for uh, for the solder. You see, we got a we got a high spot right here where it was pushed in, and it's you know it's like stretched it out some. Um, Anyway, uh, that's what this video is going to be about, uh, really, you know, soldering up the holes and uh, see if I can give you guys a better idea of, of how it's done, you know, uh, it's a technique that, like, like I mentioned in the other video, uh, that's the way the shops used to do them, you know, before they came out with a stinger, and if you're not familiar with a stinger, that's it's a gun that welds nails onto your panel and allows you to put a slide, a slide hammer on there you know and it clamps onto the nail and you pull it out and then once you're done you just cut the, the nails off and grind it down that's a, that was a heck of an idea you know that somebody had to invent that thing but uh, this right here never fails every time I try to make a video I get a phone call anyway it's all good um, I don't even know what the heck I was talking about but anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to um, solder up these holes here in a bit. Once I once I get all this pulled out and then dollied and stuff, you know, I'll take you guys through the steps and, and show you how it's done. All right, everybody, um, I'm still working the panel. Let me see how it's coming out. It's looking a lot better. Uh, Excuse me. Like I said, uh, I went ahead and did that rocker too because it was bending right there. And then uh, once I'm done, you know, shaping this panel the way I want to, then I'll go ahead and flatten that bottom edge really nice and make it uh, make it look all uniform with this door and, and you know make it look straight right there. But uh, I did find another little dent back here. And uh, I went ahead and got from, from behind the, the wheel back there and, and knocked it out some. Because, uh, you know, I am going to do a blend up into the back of the bed. And then blend into this door, you know, with both colors, the red and the, and the gold. Uh, there's also a good gouge right here that I'm going to go ahead and uh, do an estimate on. The customer uh, kind of wants it fixed. There's another little dent here. Um... Where else? There's another dent here. I'm uh, going to do that. Possibly, uh, I'll do my mouth here in the center somewhere of the bed instead of carrying the whole thing because it does have a decal. And uh, I don't think the, the customer is going to want to buy a new one, but I'm going to go ahead and talk to him about it, put it on the estimate, and see what he wants to do. Uh, this door has a dent too. You'll see. Uh, requested that that uh, get worked on also and it also scrapes here on the fender that need to get done uh, 
come back in a little bit when I'm ready to uh, solder and uh, give you guys a uh, give you guys a first hand look. Uh, excuse me. Sorry. Go from there. up the hole, get your solder to stick to it, and, and it seals it up itself pretty much. I don't know if you guys can get a good look at it, but So look, um, you can see the way, it, the way it's coming out. This stuff doesn't have seem to have that uh, acid core or acid flux stuff coming out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, I'm giving you guys an example, you know, of, of the way it's gonna stay. Let me, let me flip this camera around and see. Let's see if I can get a better look. Those are the spots that I just done. Uh, you can see it didn't even take me a minute. And there you have it. Got a nice solid piece, you know, no bundles gonna seep through. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and come and cover up all the rest of these holes in the same manner. You know, feels pretty good. Um, like I say, it's gonna be all one panel. Um, on this job right here, I just you know I, I'm doing it to show you guys how to solder up the holes, you know, and uh, and how to do it uh, the old style way, you know. If uh, if you if you wanna uh, want to get started, you know, doing this kind of work, and you don't want to be a little better at what you know on how to do the repairs and a little bit more cleaner and more more uh, professional. Well, this is the way that it, you know it all started. I know a lot of guys, like the guy uh, that wanted to know about this, he mentioned he wilds them up. You know, that's probably a pretty good idea too. You know, um, I know uh, you'd have to have a welder that's adjustable so you don't get too much heat and warp your steel. But I'm pretty sure it could be done that way. You know, pretty quick. And uh, uh, like I was mentioning, this is just an older technique. Uh, with this solder gun right here, I mean, I've never really done it with one of these. You know. Like I said, I always had a pointy one, like a pencil, but it was it was meant for that kind of work, you know. It was meant for the for the holes like this, and uh, it wasn't real thin like this one, but it, it looked the same. It's just you know, four, three or four times the size of it, you know. But uh, it seems like this one works out pretty good, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use it on the rest of these holes here, and I'll come back in a minute. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, today's uh, Thursday, day after Halloween. Uh, I took the day off yesterday. I just didn't didn't want to work. So anyway, uh, kind of what ended up happening the other day when we were when I was soldering up these holes. Uh, you know, I mentioned before I was using that uh, that other solder gun. Uh, you know, with the trigger, 
Uh, well, that's one of those cheap ones, I guess. It's it's uh, from Harbor Freight, <clears throat> and uh, and it burned down on me. So I had to stop what I was doing, and uh, that, that same day, I, I think when was it? Uh, Tuesday. I was able to go up there to uh, back to Harbor Freight, and I found this uh, wood carver burner deal. But that's basically uh, the tip that I need for this for this job. I already gave it a, a little test trial, and thing works perfect. So I'll be able to show you guys a little bit better. You know the way it, the way I used to do them, you know, and, uh, and the way I still do them, you know, on certain jobs. Um, so yeah, I think this is gonna work out better. This little tool came with a few little tips, you know. Uh, different different style of tips let me see here it was just a, you know, a little setup but here's all the little tips it has a you can see in there there's different kinds uh, really pointy ones uh, there's even a, a blade in there so it will get hot and you can do a lot of different things with this tool um, I kind of had a feeling Excuse me, that that other one was going to burn out because, well, like like I said, it it has a trigger, so that means that you you know, I assume right away that that you would have to let up on the trigger for a while, but since I used it for a long period of time, it just fried out. So, let me show you guys uh, the way it's coming out, and what I was talking about when you just. Uh, See which hole can you see? I'm trying to hold the camera at the same time and find a hole for you guys to solder up <coughs> so you can just you know, get the idea. talking about you up that hole a little bit put your flux around you know give it even a twist and uh and that's it it's sealed up um you know if it didn't seal up right away you just you know give it a little twist and boom let's see what's it uh let's see if I'm trying to turn on 